The World Health Organization says no deaths have been attributed to the Omicron variant, but it is different and dangerous. CBS's Deborah Pata reports from South Africa. This is ground zero for Omicron. Scientists in this high-risk biohazard lab arm themselves for another day on the COVID battlefront. They are hot on the trail of the new mutant strain circling the globe. Zay, I'm coming to give you a cryo box from the freezer. Here, they are growing live Omicron, which will be tested against the blood of fully vaccinated people, as well as those who were previously infected. Heading up this team at the Africa Health Research Institute is virologist Alex Segal. This is probably the most mutated virus uh, we've ever seen. The variant has more than 50 mutations, over 30 in the spike protein, making it easier to attach itself to human cells. It's more of a Frankenstein than others, but it's always something new. I mean, the virus keeps surprising us. Now they are collaborating with other scientists to determine if the variant blunts vaccine immunity. This lab has received multiple requests for samples of Omicron, which are being packed to be shipped off to other research institutes around the country. Infectious disease expert Richard Lessels works next door at the sequencing lab that helped identify the new variant and is studying the spread of Omicron in real time. What's critical now over the next week or two is to really see in the data what the pattern is there. Is there an increasing rate of infections in the vaccinated? And what is the severity of disease in, in those individuals? Omicron has already fueled a meteoric rise in infections in South Africa. Scientists here say it appears to spread more than twice as quickly as Delta, including among people who've had COVID. Some like 60% of South Africans have been previously infected. So in this case, you have a variant that may be specialized to reinfect. Segal hopes to have results on how effective vaccines are against Omicron within the next week. Deborah Pader, CBS News, Durban, South Africa.